Today in this video, let us see another design problem of pushdown automata. Before getting into the video, I request all my viewers and students to do SSLC, share, subscribe, like and comment. The given language is WWR such that W belongs to A union B the whole star. W is a string. String is made up of the alphabets A and B. The pattern what the language describes is W, W, R. So if W is B, B, A, W, R is nothing but the reverse of the W which can be written as A, B, B. So W, W, R put together B, B, A, A, B, B. So if we analyze the strings uh, that belong to the language are nothing but even palindromes. So it is a language of even palindromes. So for the language of even palindromes, now we are going to design pushdown automata. Before that, let us discuss the logic. This is W. This is the reverse of W, the second half of the string. Right? Imagine that this is kept in the input tape. Every cell contains one character. The pushdown automata reads the symbol from left to right. It reads character by character. When it reads the first half of the string, whatever the symbol it reads, the same symbol needs to be pushed down to the stack. When it reads B, push B. When it reads A, push A. So till the first half of the string, whatever it reads, all those symbols needs to be pushed down to the stack. So if I push, stack appears like this. Top of the stack contains A, then B, then another B. The Z0 indicates the empty stack, in fact. Okay, now the stack contains the first half of the string. From the top to bottom, if you see the string, it is nothing but the second string, which is the reverse of W. Okay, now read right head continues to read the second half of the string. When it continues to read the second half of the string, top of this stack is to be checked. If it reads A in WR, if A is available at the top of this stack, pop. When it reads B, if the top of this stack also contains B, pop. Similarly, we have to pop all the symbols from the top of the stack. So after reading the string, it means there is nothing to read further for the push down automata. In that case, the stack also should go empty. So this is the logic we have to keep in mind before designing push down automata. Very in simple words, the first half of the string is to be pushed down to the stack. Once the PDA starts reading the second half of the string, it is to be matched against what is pushed down to the stack. Okay, but there is a challenge for the PDA. The challenge is to determine the midpoint of the string. Midpoint in the sense which divides W and WR separately. So how it finds the midpoint? There is a clue. The clue is the last character of W and the first character of WR is the same. It means the midpoint occurs wherever the two characters are continuous and same. But there is a drawback here. The PDA has to make a proper guess which is the midpoint of the string. So wherever the characters are continuous, it may make a guess that it reached the midpoint. Okay, keeping all this logic and the challenges in mind, let us design the pushdown automata. Now I'm going to write the transition rules here. Already we have discussed the transition rules in the introduction of pushdown automata. I have already made a video. I have given the link of that video in my description. Please look into the video to recollect the working of pushdown automata. So this is a transition function. K is the current state. Sigma is the input symbol what is kept in the input tape. This gamma indicates what is available at the top of the stack. This is on the consequence or how the PDA has to react. If this is the current situation, this last column tells how the pushdown automata has to react. So what is in the last column? Change of state. From the current state, the PDA may change its state by pushing or popping the contents onto the stack. 
So let us write the transition rules now. Initially, let us assume the current state of the PDA is Q0. In the beginning, the first character, the pushdown automata, may read either A or B. Both the possibilities are there. The first character may be A or the first character may be B also. When it reads the first character, the top of the stack is empty. It contains only Z0. So, if this is the situation, how we are expecting the pushdown automata to react? We already discussed in the logic, till the midpoint it reaches, whatever the character it reads, it is to be pushed onto the stack. So, the current state of pushdown automata is Q0. Already Z0 is there, push A, because it read A. When it reads B, continue to stay in Q0, already Z0 is there, above that you push B, right? Now, again the current state of push down automata is Q0. Now, let us assume the second character, the read right head is reading the second character from the input tape. Again, in this case, the second character is B, but if you imagine the other possible strings of the language, the second character and the third character, till it reaches the midpoint, it can be either A or B. So, we have to imagine all the possibilities. So, from the state Q0, the second character in the input tape is A or it can be B also. If it is A or B, the top of the stack may be A, the top of the stack may be B also. Now, I will produce all the possibilities. State of PDA, as of now it is Q0, it is reading A when the top of the stack is A. It is reading B when the top of the stack is A. It reads A, top of the stack is B. It reads B, top of the stack is B. So, these are the four possibilities we are getting at the next instant. So, how the PDA has to react? Continue to stay in Q0. Already A is there on the top of the stack. Above that, push the symbol whatever it reads. So, in this case, I am writing Q0 A because it read A. In the next case, I would be writing Q0 B A because top of this track is A, but what it read, it read B, that B is pushed onto the stack. So, let me write Q0 A B. In this case, it is Q0 B B. These four transition rules can be executed if the third character is either A or B, if the fourth character is either A or B, irrespective of any symbol on the top of the stack. Now, at one point, let us assume that it reached the midpoint of the string. If in this case, this is a midpoint, after crossing the midpoint, it is going to read the first character of the WR. Again, in this case, the first character is A, but the first character can be either A or B. So, let us imagine both the possibilities. After midpoint, let us say that the pushdown automata may read A or it may read B also. But the current state of pushdown automata is Q0. When it reads A, what is expected at the top of this track? A is expected at the top of this track. When it reads B, suppose the first character of WR, if it is B, the top of this track also must contain B. In this case, change the state to Q1. Whatever is available at the top of this track is replaced by epsilon. It means the top of this track is popped. In this case also, change the state to Q1, top of the stack is replaced by epsilon, it means the top of the stack is popped, right? After reading the first character of the WR, the state is changed to Q1. Now the current state of PDA is Q1, from the state Q1, it continues to read the rest of the characters till it reaches the end of the string. The rest of the characters in WR, once again, it might be A or it might be B also. So, let us write both the possibilities. From Q1, if it reads A, top of the stack must be A. From Q1, if it reads B, top of the stack must be e, B. Continue to stay in the same state Q1. Pop whatever is available at the top of the stack. In this case also, Q1, epsilon. 
after reading all the characters in wr that is the second half of the string it reads epsilon it means it reached the end of the string that time the stack must be empty if this is the case allow the pda to enter into q2 retaining that z0 as it is and say q2 is a final state if you look into the transition rules completely we have used throughout three states one is q0 which is the start state q1 is the intermediate state and q2 is the final or the accepting state let me give a transition diagram now later we see the instantaneous description for that so q0 is the start state for this problem from q0 in the beginning it reads a the first character is a or the first character can be b also that time stack is empty push a in this case when the first character is b stack is empty that time push b and continue to stay in q0 and other possibilities are it reads a top of the stack may be a so whatever the symbol is read that is to be pushed it reads b top of the stack is a that time also push b now it reads a the top of the stack is b whatever the symbol it read need to push a when it reads b the top of the stack is b that time also we need to push b all the six possibilities you can draw with a single self loop also just for the clarity i have divided like this so in all these possibilities it continue to stay in q not only at one point it assumes that it has reached the middle of the string in that case when it reads a what is expected at the top of the stack a is expected at the top of the stack that time the state is changed to q1 that a must be replaced by epsilon suppose when it reads b the top of the stack might be b that must be replaced by epsilon and the state is changed to q1 now from q1 it continues to read the rest of the a or the rest of the b if it reads a top of the stack must be a pop if it reads b top of the stack must be b pop so this is continuing till it reaches the end of the string once it reaches the end of the string it reads epsilon that time stack must contain only z0 allow the pda to enter into the state q2 and q2 is the final state this is the complete transition diagram of push down automata i can call q0 is not only the start state i can call q0 as a push state as long as the pda is in q0 it continues to push the symbol whatever it reads once it is getting changed to q1 it continues to pop the symbol but what is a condition whatever the symbol it reads and what is available at the top of the stack should be the same and when it reaches the end of the string and if the stack is empty it enters into the q2 which is a final or the accepting state i hope you would have understood the problem let me make instantaneous description in another video since it is a longer video i am just stopping here i will make in another video the instantaneous description for the same problem thank you